Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 5.1 Alkene. And in this video, we will learn to illustrate the free radical mono substitution mechanism of alkene. Previously, we have learned about the chemical properties of alkene, where the alkene will undergo halogenation. So, uh, for the halogenation, the alkene will react with halogen in UV condition, where the hydrogen will be replaced or substituted with the halogen given. So, for example, A here, we have our hydrogen being replaced with our chlorine. Okay, so that is the basis of halogenation. But then, for a given uh, molecule where the carbon is more than one, you have to classify. Is it primary, secondary, is it primary, secondary or tertiary? Okay, why? Because actually, when we have different class of carbon, uh, we will form our major and minor product. Okay, so the order which one is major, which one is minor. So, if you have primary, secondary and tertiary. So, for this case, tertiary is the major and primary is the minor. Okay, and then for this case, why, the, uh, why do we call it as mono substitution? Because we only going to replace one of the hydrogen with our chlorine. In reality, actually, each of the hydrogen can be substituted. But for our syllabus, we're going to learn mono substitution, uh, substitution where, we, where we will be replacing only one hydrogen. Okay? Okay, so let's look on your notes, uh, notes on page 7 itself. The name of the reaction is halogenation of alkene and the type of reaction is periodical substitution. Okay, name and type of reaction is actually two different things. Okay, type of reaction, what we have learned in 4.4, we have addition, substitution, elimination and rearrangement where the substitution can be further divided into free radical, electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution. Okay, but then since uh, for the reaction of halogenation of alkene, itself we have our UV so UV is actually a hint for a free radical substitution okay so for the reaction of methane so let's look here uh, for the methane again halogenation of alkene the halogen it, it can be either bromine or chlorine okay this reaction what I have is actually my CH4 react with bromine okay for the halogenation of alkene it is important for you to uh, draw the arrow and include the UV uh, above the arrow itself Okay, since this is a substitution reaction, what will happen is that we will substitute one of the hydrogen with uh, our halogen. In this case, it's bromine. Okay, this carbon is actually a primary carbon. So, it means that all of the hydrogen here is a primary hydrogen as well. So, uh, it's up to you. Uh, any hydrogen can be substituted. And then, I'm substituting the hydrogen at the right hand side here with my bromine. And then, I will have my byproduct HBr. The hydrogen uh, that is being substituted will com uh, combine with one of the bromine okay, and will form HBr. So again, the byproduct is not compulsory. The compulsory is the main product itself. Lah. Uh, in this case, for the case of CH4, memang only one possibility. Okay, so next what we're going to look at is for the mechanism of the free radical substitution. Okay, for the free radical substitution, there are three steps. Uh, uh, initiation, propagation, termination. Okay, remember the institute pengajian tinggi lah. So, there are three steps. Okay, here for the initiation, the first step ni, memang ada, we only got one step. For the second step yang propagation ni, we get two steps. Uh, the third steps ni, termination, we will get three steps. Okay, so that is actually uh, the hint lah. IPT ni ada tiga step. Okay, and then for the other mechanism. Mechanism ni is actually the movement of electron. Okay, so for this reaction, since uh, we're going to talk about free radical, free radical ni will form, uh, contohnya free radical ni macam ni lah. Here it means that here is only one electron. So it means that the reaction that we're going to use is half arrow. So half arrow ni sebenarnya kalau dia jadi straight line dia macam ni lah kan. Ni half arrow. Tapi for the mechanism we're going to use it as a curve arrow. So bila jadi curve, jadi curve, lepas tu dia adalah half arrow. Okay, itu adalah for uh, the case of free radical substitution. Kalau yang tu electron full arrow ni, where we're going to learn it later. Kalau full arrow, dia macam ni kan, straight line. Kalau curve, dia jadi macam ni. Ha, arrow dia. Tapi, for the case of free radical substitution, we're going to use half arrow. That's the base, basis of it. So, now let's look for the first step of the mechanism. Okay, the first step is initiation. Where the initiation, uh, 
uh, it mentioned here that the light or heat provides the energy. Light or heat ni our UV ataupun our HV. We will provide the energy needed for homolytic bond cleavage. For the homolytic bond cleavage, you still remember, it means that, remember one bond, we got two electron. Homolytic is where the two electron will be shared equally. So, when it is shared equally, we will form free radical. Okay, so first step huh, is our bromine we will, will undergo homolytic bond cleavage. Okay, remember bromine, bromine here. Each one bond, it means that we have two electron. So, what I would like to draw is actually for each one bond too, Miss Masuka draw two dots straight away. So, it will be easier for us lah to show the bond cleavage to homolytic too. Okay, again, homolytic bond cleavage will form free radical. And it's actually where the electron are sh shut equally. Okay, so macam mana nak draw? One of the electron is being shut to this bromine. One of the electron is being shut to the second bromine. So, what I'm going to do, remember the curve arrow. Curve one, lepas tu kita akan jadi half-headed arrow. Ni curve arrow and the half-headed. Okay, so what will be our product? Our product will be bromine radical. So, bromine radical. But then we have first bromine radical. And then we have the second one. The second bromine radical. So, this is the product for uh, initiation step. Okay, once we form our radical. Then, uh, our radical ni is very unstable and very very reactive. So, this radical will react with our alkene. Alkene is a stable compound and very unreactive. So, sebab itulah for the reaction of alkene, kamu belajar combustion dengan halogenation je. Dia memang tak ada banyak reaction. Sebab dia unreactive and then uh, it can only react with a very reactive species which is our radical. Okay, so sekarang ni kita akan assume radical ni macam single lady. So, tak, boleh je single lady, boleh single man pun boleh kan? Uh, dia adalah a single person yang tengah mencari partner Sebab sekarang ni kan dia dah, dah bahagia couple Lepas tu kena clash So dia jadi unstable lah Dia tengah mencari kawan Dia nak cari kawan lah kira eh Dia tengah mencari partner to form a stable compound Okay so it started with this one Okay kita tengok next step is propagation Okay so propagation we have two step So first step we mentioned that a radical will react with alkane to form a radical and new bond. Okay, so alkane, which alkane? Ah, the alkane uh, that we are uh, interested in, which is our methane. Okay, so again, for this case, I would, uh, I, I would prefer to show that one bond to uh, must add two electron. Okay, I'm just going to show it here. One, two. Okay, it will react with radical. Which radical? Radical that have formed from our first step tadi, which is our bromine radical. Okay, so bromine radical. Okay, so for the bromine radical itself, nanya dot ni, uh, it's up to you. Kamu nak buat on your left hand side, right hand side, uh, above, below, uh, mana-mana pun boleh. But you have to show only one lah. Okay, so what happened here is that again, uh, kita punya radical ni, dia unstable kan. Kita assume dia ni uh, tengah mencari pasangan. Okay, tapi dia ni nak cari pasangan dengan uh, elektron yang dah ada pasangan lain. Uh, dia tak nak cari lagi macam kes-kes ni, dia tak nak. Macam tu pula kan, dia perampas sikit. Okay, so from which electron dia akan ambil, it will take from this hydrogen. Okay, so macam mana nak hint nak tahu ni kan? Sebab nanti dia nak combine ni, nak form kita punya byproduct ni, HBr. So what happens is that, our bromine radical ni will take the electron from our hydrogen ni, ada uh, rampas tau. Dia rampas hydrogen ni from our carbon. Okay, so bila nak tunjuk dia rampas tu, we have to show that uh, the electron is meeting somewhere, dia tengah dating. So again, sebab dia adalah radical, okay, show the curve arrow, curve lepas tu half-headed kan. Okay, lepas tu dia rampas, dia rampas yang hydrogen kan. Make sure yang hydrogen tu mestilah ada electron dia. Dia sebenarnya pula benda nak, nak electron ni. Okay, so ambil half-headed arrow, jumpa kat sini, tengah dating, ah, uh, half-headed arrow. Okay, so it is important for you to show that the arrow meet each other lah. Kena jumpa kat sini, yang kat satu spot. Tengah dating, dekat dekat cafe ke mana-mana kan. Um, kalau kamu sebenarnya pernah belajar kena buat kat dot, eh, kena buat kat plus. Betul juga, tapi tak cukup tepat. So, it is uh, lagi uh, accepted kalau kamu buat arrow ni berjumpa each other. Uh, okay. So, sekarang ni the hydrogen has coupled up with uh, bromine to form our HBr. Okay, but what happened to one electron ni kan? Dia kan sepatutnya couple dengan hydrogen ni. So, dia ni dah tahu dah tahu yang hydrogen di electron ni dah curang. 
dia pun crash lah. So, you have to show that the electron on carbon ni, one electron ni, back to my carbon itself. Dia dah macam tak apalah kau tak nak dengan aku, it's fine. So, the clash. So, what will happen to the product itself? So, the product dia akan jadi, you have to show the arrow. Okay, the product dia jadi macam ni. So, ini padam. Dia tinggal jadi radical. Okay. So, what happen to the hydrogen bromine ni? Hydrogen bromine ni, it will form a new type of product. So, we will get hydrogen. Hydrogen with one of the electron and the bromine with one of the electron. So, actually, you could write down this way ataupun you could also write it down in terms of H uh, single bond Br or only HPR. Okay? So, that is the first step for the propagation where we form our byproduct. Okay, next step. Uh, propagation, we got two steps, right? Next step is the radical will react with halogen gas to form new radical. Okay, which radical? Dalam kes ni, first radical kan bromine kan dah couple kan? Ha, sekarang ni, kita punya alkyl ni pula sendiri. Ha, dia ni pula yang macam is ha, single. Ha, dia ni pula yang mencari partner. Dah dia single, dia pun nak mencari partner lah. So, we're gonna take the ha, radical from the first step tu. Okay, tapi in this case, it will react with halogen gas. Halogen gas tu yang BR2 kita ni lah. So, I will wrap it my bromine. Bromine. Uh, and then dot dot. Uh, I would prefer to show dot dot ni lah. Supaya lagi senang nanti. Dot dot. Okay, so what happen now? Uh, yang ini pun sama juga. Dia single bukan yang nak cari yang single juga. Dia suka juga kacau daripada orang yang dah couple dengan another atom kan. Okay, so what happen is that. This one. Uh, it will take uh, It will couple up With the bromine here Sebab nanti bila dia couple up Nanti dapatlah kita punya produk The major produk Okay so kita tunjuklah dating kat mana Nak jumpa dating kat mana pula eh Dating yang sebelah sini uh, Dating kat kafe lain pula kat sini lah Sini curve arrow Make sure the half headed Ni sure curve arrow Half headed Okay so what happened to this electron So you have to show Dah sebab dia ni dah pasang, dah, dah couple dengan orang lain kan. Ha, tunjuklah dia clash. Back to the bromine itself. Ha, so, that is the arrow itself eh. So, jadi. So, we will get our product. The radical. Dia bukan lagi radical dah right now. What will happen is that. It will uh, couple the electron with bromine. Okay. And then what we have. Ha, yang bromine ni pula jadi bromine radical. So, plus bromine radical. Okay, so this is actually the reaction. Uh, again, dia jadi macam ni tau. Remember that, okay, radical ni akan react with the stable compound. Stable compound dalam case ni, first step ni is actually our alkene. Lepas tu, remember, bila dia couple tu, kena show the uh, dating kat mana. Make sure the electron, uh, make sure the arrow tu meet each other lah. So, yang ini dah couple, kena tunjuk yang ada certain tu yang clash balik. So, we form the first radical. Lepas tu, the radical yang ini pula yang akan couple lagi dengan stable compound. Dan ada stable compound, BR2 kita. So, again, kena tunjuk the couple. Dia, yeah, the electron must meet with each other. And ni kena tunjuk clash. Yang dot-dot ni, uh, just to show it to you, for me personally, it's easier lah for us. But nanti nak show the movement of the one electron, okay? So, that is for the propagation. Okay, the last step is actually our termination. Uh, this is our happy ending. For the happy ending ni, here it mentioned that the reaction terminates when the free radical combine to form molecule. In this case, our radical ni semua couple dengan another radical. It means the single people couple dengan single people. Dia tak ada rampas-rampas dah. Uh, ni memang happy ending for all. Okay, so first radical that we meet Uh, at the start of the reaction kat initiation, we have our bromine kan? So, dia akan couple dengan uh, bromine dia balik uh, first. Okay, so what I would like to do, uh, show lah, tunjuk lah dating kat mana-mana kan. Uh, curve arrow, half-headed. Curve arrow, half-headed. And then show the product would be, uh, up to you nak buat bromine-bromine bond macam ni pun boleh juga. Bromine, straight, bromine. Okay, so that is the first radical that we make kan. This is actually the one that we have found out from our yang first step ni. Okay, termination ni kan ada tiga step kan. So, this is the first one. Second one for, okay, which radical? Okay, this radical uh, yang propagation the first step ni. Okay, so which one? So, kita tunjuk lah. This one. Okay, and then we're going to combine it with another one. 
Okay, so for the second step where I'm going to combine my alkyl ni sebenarnya, I would like to draw the dot ni next to the um, plus sign. Sebab senang nanti kamu nak combine. So, how to draw it? So, dot dekat sini. Okay, we know that it is carbon and carbon bonded to 3 hydrogen. So, next we have to show the, uh, the dating kat mana. Dating sini. Uh, pilihlah any spot dia nak dating. Okay, next tu yang plus tu kan. Dekat-dekat. Uh, uh, make sure dia nampak dia tengah dating kat tempat ni. Okay, so what will be our product? So, we will combine it. Uh, we will combine our CH3 and CH3 ni. So, we have learned the one, two step. Okay, remember termination of the three step. So, what is another one of the termination? It's actually step yang mana we will combine this CH3 with my bromine. Yang alkyl ni dengan bromine. Okay, why we're going to show the termination ni when we combine this one? We combine these two, we will form our product here. So, we have to show it lah. So, that is the third step. Okay, so that is the last step. The happy ending for all of the radical. Okay, so basically that's the mechanism for the uh, free radical substitution where we have mesation, propagation, termination. Okay, for um, example B, I believe you could try yourself. But then for the further mechanism, you don't have to write down the explanation ni lah. Uh, you could also terus write down uh, macam biasa sahaja. Okay, remember the reaction start with initiation, mesti ada UV. So, uh, we're going to form radical and from this radical, we form... We get propagation reaction. Remember, kena tunjuk lah. Yang couple, kena tunjuk juga yang clash. Okay, yang couple ni, kena tunjuk juga yang clash. Okay, and last one, termination. Where the radical we combine to form molecule. Ni happy ending untuk semua. Again, the radical ni, you could put it anywhere you want. But make sure the arrow ni must, uh, must touching each other lah. Ataupun kata kadang arrow ni kissing each other. Okay, so that's it for this video.